Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Molly with Robert and Molly Bees, and today I'm going to be refinishing this vanity. I had this in my inventory for a while, and I also had a dresser that goes along with it. My client decided she wanted me to paint both of them. Of course, the first thing you do is take off everything, take off the hardware, and then clean it really well with TSP, and then rinse it with water. My client really likes Great Gatsby and that kind of era. She actually had a Great Gatsby wedding, which was really fun. I got to go. All the ladies dressed in flapper dresses and we wore the jeweled headbands and did our hair. It was really fun. Anyway, she decided she wanted me to paint this in that kind of a fashion. So the first thing I had to battle was this veneer. Uh, this waterfall vanity was super pretty, but this side of the vanity, the veneer was way busted. So I had to peel it off. There was no real easy way to do this. I tried the hot iron with a wet towel. I tried the scraper method. In the end, it was a, a straight razor blade and my fingernails and I managed to get the rest of it off. I don't know if other people have had better luck with the other methods, but this veneer was super glued onto this vanity, so, but I got it off. Next, I started priming this piece. I meant to use shellac, and I'm not 100% sure why I didn't. Using solid white primer to prime this vanity really bit me in the tail this time, uh, unfortunately. You can see the top of the vanity mirror there. The wood had broken and I had to repair it. My husband fixed the back, but then I used Bondo for filling in the cracks. So no matter what, it had to be primed with something. Anyway, I'm using Wise Owl Prussian Blue and Botanical here, and I used some black cherry on the edges. I'd never used White Owl before to paint a full piece of furniture. I'd used it in textured pieces and small projects. And I wasn't super jazzed about it, to be honest. I ended up having to do four and five coats of paint on this piece, and I also had a dresser to paint, so I almost ran out of paint, and that was super stressful. That little bit of orange there, I was gonna put that there, but I ended up changing my mind and painting over it with the blue. Anyway, back to this paint. I like Wise Owl paint, I like the colors that they have. I will say that once it dries and you top coat it, it is much darker than what it is before you top coat it, but like significantly. There's a definite color change on that one. Whereas like Dixie Belle, there's not that big of a color change. Will I use Wise Owl again? Probably, they have some beautiful colors, but I will think very hard about my application process with it. But will I sell it in our shop when we get our shop? Uh, probably, it's nice paint, it's good paint, they have good products. I am just not used to working with it. Also, it was super hard to get out of my brushes. I recommend washing your brushes every day you're done painting. I don't usually do that. I usually wrap up my brushes in saran wrap and use, wash them when I'm done with the piece I'm working on. Not here. I'm probably gonna have to buy some brush cleaner and get my brushes well cleaned. I also think I may never paint another vanity again. This is the second one I've done and I always go into it thinking it's going to be an easy project and that middle piece is the reason that people cut that piece out and make two side tables. It is a pain to paint underneath the vanity and on the top sides there. It's not pleasant. I started painting the vanity mirror. This mirror has five mirrors, two, three main mirrors and two cobalt blue mirrors that go in the little strips there. It was one of the things I was kind of battling with on how to paint this piece. Again, I'm using mostly botanical and then I put a little Prussian blue on the top and a little bit of the black cherry on some of the detail. Yep. Here, I got this stencil from Amazon and I'm using gold gilding wax to stencil the sides of these drawers. I like Dixie Belle's gold gil I like Dixie Belle's gilding wax period, but I do find that it never ever dries. So I usually save it for parts that I can spray with hard enamel after, which is exactly what I did to the sides of those drawers. And then I waxed them with wood conditioner. Here I'm using, well here I'm putting the mirror on, but just a minute ago I was using DIY's golden ticket. That is a kind of a gold patina paint that you can water down and make it drip and shimmer on the piece and uh, I thought that just added a little bit of a touch to the vanity. Here I'm reattaching all of the mirrors. See the, the blue mirrors? I really wasn't, those were gumming me up with the decision on color choices here. Then I got almost all done with the vanity and remember there's a chair. 
So I painted it, I ran to Joann's, and I managed to find some upholstery fabric that matched my colors I chose for like two bucks, which I was so jazzed. I got some remnants. And here it is all finished. These are my staged photos. My client's really happy with the way they turned out. It's been a while since I posted any videos, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, follow, all that. All right, thanks for watching. Bye!